Hey guys, Tao here, and today I have a bit of a glitch video. You'll see. So I'm just on the main menu here, type in some things, and then, you know, eventually something kind of comes up that's just a little bit strange, and BAM! Right there. Just all of a sudden, there was no cut and recording whatsoever. This is all one straight thing. And then all of a sudden, here we are. Bam! It's round 51 rally, rally randomly. I become Tester Man. And I've all, hold on, wait, you'll see it eventually. I've all 16, 17? I'm not sure. Is it your 16 or 17? I've all 17 towers unlocked here. And the uh, scroll bar is actually useful. I'm up against Gangnam Style for some reason. And it's just round 50. Like, what? What? What is even going on here? So my first instinct is like, holy shit, there's a bunch of balloons here. I gotta defend this, obviously. So, you know, let's, let's get Max Temples going. Hey, look, rainbows. See gang with style over there, he's just rocking it and stuff. I had my ninja sabotage, so all my balloons are about half the speed of his. But I see all those balloons going through, he's not losing. Now is he? So, now that you're like, what the hell is going on? Give me a chance to actually explain what's happening. So, this is like half glitch, half Easter egg in the game that no one's managed to find until um a while ago. So, I found out about uh, this, I'm like, holy crap, I have to try this. Eventually it involved uh, just punching in some certain keys on the uh, main menu screen, um, and bam, I got here. I could do any map, any round, but I chose to do round 50, because I'm like, you know what, I'm going to defend round 50. Look at these UMGs, I have two temples that at least have some sacrifices, and I'm struggling against these UMGs. These are really tough UMGs, so I'm like... Okay, yeah, it's a challenge. I gotta crack it. Oh, it's a bit difficult since I now can't see the track and also on a high quality, so it's kind of hard to place things. But, yeah, it's kind of tough. So let's look at everything that's going on. So I'm Tester Man. Um, uh, I just have normal lives. Gangnam Style is just the, it's basically like a computer is a test dummy to go up against. He doesn't lose lives at all, even if, like, those ZMGs go through, which they will eventually. He doesn't lose lives or anything. I have every single tower unlocked. So you know like those scroll things down there that are just completely useless usually because you have five towers and that can't usually do everything. Also look at all those mobs. The temples just evaporate those pretty much. Let's do a bit of boat micro I guess. Um, lagging a little bit but you know whatever. It's, it's a strange feature. But yeah now I actually get to use the scroll bar. It's actually useful instead of just being there for show. I didn't understand it otherwise but now it actually makes sense. Hooray! So as you can see, that game style isn't leaking much at all, and I'm start, starting to run out of blues to defend. It doesn't exactly matter what's going on the screen, but I just wanted to test myself, see if I could give myself six seconds and defend around 50. And by the way, I started with exactly one million dollars, which is enough for a lot of things, like techno terror buying resell, max temples, that kind of stuff. But only 250 income. So I'm going to run out of money eventually, and I would probably want to re, you know, rebuy. Or, you know, get more... Dang, why am I saying you know so much? I need to just get more things, you see? And at this one, I'm like, yeah, yeah, defeat these UMGs. They're getting taken out slowly. I'm just going to try to keep selling and rebuying boats as fast as I can. I'm not that good at it. Plus, it's lagging a bit. Oh, wait, no, my no. The real kicker, I'm using my trackpad here. Duh. I was wondering I was wondering why I was doing this so slow, but keep forgetting. That's right, I'm on my trackpad. It does seem a bit slow for me, just a bit. But now, now it's just the work of the boats. Sink down these BFBs like crazy and do the best that I can. I use a bit of a temple or a village ability called Arms, or MIB called Arms. That worked out pretty well. But here's the thing. Some of you guys might be wondering, oh, well, hey, how can we use this? So this looks pretty fun. And, I mean, it's pretty cool. You, get, you could go on any level. You know, I'm not going to show you or anything, but there is a bit of a kicker. It affects normal gameplay too, which you'll see really, really soon. Here it is. Alright, so I realized Boob Guy or I Suck at Battles has the same problem that I do. Well, not problem, but he uh, did the same thing as well. So now we're just going to play a little game against each other. Just on Battle Park, which is usually you know, a pretty easy map, right? I'm just picking out my towers. Kind of a strange tower choice, like who picks farms on Battle Park. But uh, you you'll see. He's going for like normal loadout. Nothing too different there. Nothing special or weird, but wait until the game actually starts. You're going to see something that's quite strange. Wait for it. It's just stalling for a second. It'll, it'll go eventually. Just wait for it. it you'll see. <laughs> Dang it. I should have cut this out. There we go. 
Alright, so nothing nothing too unusual, just normal money, normal story now. However, my towers are invisible, and it's round two all of a sudden. Right away, it's round two. He gets to send balloons right away. Well, so do I. I could, but I'm too busy defending. I'm like, bleh. You know, I don't care that, I don't care that much. Because every single round is double of what it should be. All the odd rounds are just skipped. This game decides all of a sudden, wow, I hate odd number rounds. So I'm just going to skip them. And this only happens after doing that previous glitch. So that is why I'm going to not really tell it for now until this part of it gets fixed. Because you're like, oh, this would be fun to do in private battles. Well, guess what? It works in quick battles too, which is a terrible exploit that is basically hacking, I guess. Well, I mean, it's not exactly hacking, but uh, people who do that are treated the same way hackers are. Which is pretty bad. I don't want you guys getting your accounts banned or something. I realized that this worked in Quick Battles after going into a game. And I'm like, oh shoot, the rounds are still doubling here. That sucks. And I'd like to say I surrendered right away. I didn't. I surrendered eventually. So my opponent still got the win. He knew me, so I guess he was nice enough not to report me or anything. But I did toy around with him. Then I'm like, okay, I'm done. I don't want to cost him a loss or anything. So that went well. So now it's round six, and he's only a 3 0 cannon. So basically, we're trying to play a competitive game on the double round. I'm like, oh, maybe a farm could work well, considering the rounds are half the. Well, you get. You technically get the in between rounds. It doesn't skip them, but it has round the odd rounds for a split second. So theoretically, you should still get the bananas. See, round seven and now round eight. We should getting a lot of bananas. And it kind of works that way, but kind of not. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's a bit complicated, but it's not working out as well as it could be, sadly. So yeah, he, he realizes his bones because I have the farms. Uh, this farm upgrade should only be given three bananas per round, but I'm pretty sure it gave six. Two for this round, two for the previous round. So it does give you the bananas for the odd rounds. It just takes a while. It's not an instant burst, you know? And also, it does try sending out the balloons for round nine. I don't even know how this gets screwed up so badly. I, I, I don't even know how, but yet it does. So let me restate that, guys. The only reason, well, the main reason I'm not telling you is so you can, is to make sure you don't go into freaking quick battles and start cheating. Because most of the other people wouldn't have access to this. And it wouldn't be fair to them, cost them a loss and such, and it'd be screwed. Anyways, though, I'm just killing guys like a battles here. See a bunch of balloons go through and such. But wait, the best part is soon to come. You'll see. You'll, you'll see. He's like, oh yeah, rainbow rush time. I just sold a couple things. I'm like trying to defeat that. Look at that. Zero lives. Zero lives. He cannot die. You literally cannot die. Even if he has zero lives. The game's like, nope, I'm just going to keep going. And I sped up my talking bit because the game sped up. But yeah, that, that's like, what? How, how did the game screw up that much? Honestly, I don't even understand just what that, inputting that simple in Easter egg, how it screws up your game so much. But it's still fun to do private battles in. Not quick battles, though. Um, because one guy, he's really close, I'm not sure if he actually did get banned, but he had to talk to Aaron, because he exploited this glitch in one quick battle, sent out pinks when it was round two for the other guy, or round three or something like that, and he's like, nope, report, and now the guy who exploited the glitch is like, oh crap, I didn't mean to do any bad, I normally don't hack, and it's not even hacking, it's just... Well, it, it's technically just finding an Easter egg. It's not his fault that normal battles are screwed up. Theoretically, it should only just go to the just the glitch thing that we saw in the beginning, you know, round 50. And what's pretty cool with that, in that mode, you can't die either. So you can literally go to any round you want, and it's awesome. You can pretty much go to round 1,000 if you want, and, the you know, the balloons won't even care. They'll keep going through and the game will be like, oh, you have zero lives, you know, whatever. Uh, and, <laughs> yeah, you can go to super high rounds, it's great. So now back to this competitive game. We're doing it on Rally this time, we can just mix it up. We gotta see if it's even possible to defend here, because this is a new challenge. Normal battles just starting to get too easy with all that mortar stalling and other things that are OP, like tax shooters and that kind of stuff. I mean, yeah, starting to get a bit imbalance so you know now we're trying to do this oh boy as, as you can tell i'm just sacking the deck right now as yeah pretty much this boat is not doing well i'm i was hoping the farm would do a lot better but i can't even afford that many farms in the first place just because it's half the rounds 
I'm gonna send some blacks to high psychic battles. It's like five seconds, please. Please. No, you don't get five seconds. They ain't gonna ring a fire. How we afforded that, I have no idea. Maybe if I sold my farm in Boats, I could probably afford that. Maybe. I'm not too sure. He could easily rush me. You know, I... Yeah, I don't have too many towers. <laughs> I'm struggling to fit har farms here because it's high quality. It feels low quality. It can fit so many more farms. It can fit one in the top right corner, though. That works out pretty well. So now I'm like, well, now what? Even though I have two farms, I was like a battle's in a way better position than me because look at that. He's getting a mortar along with his ring of fire. He's going to have freeze out defense. Oh, wait. No, it's round 12. He's only starting to get his mortar up right now. Can I exploit it? Somehow, maybe, I'm not doing anything. Oh, there we go. Now I'm sending out some yells. I'm being really slow with this. Trackpad. It's impossible to do things with trackpad. And now, now he finally has it. But he probably has no income, so he's just got to be thinking, oh, crap, got to hopefully just, this mortar can hopefully save me. I don't know, man. I really don't know. I have these boats down here for my camo detection, although it just isn't much. He sold his mortar, and he's going for a rainbow rush of doom, and he's selling his own uh, uh, tax tax prayer or whatever. I'm going to earn fire, but this was just in a terrible spot. I'm like, oh no, oh no, get the Blade Maelstrom, and I'm quote-unquote dead, but not really dead. And that's the end of the game there. He lost all his lives, too, not too long after me, but I lost that game there. Technically, it's now going for a tiebreaker. And what's the worst map to do this on? Indoor pools, because guess what? It's already short and difficult in normal battles. Now it's going to be twice as hard because the rounds are just half as many. He's going farms this time, and I'm like, I'm getting to the point where I'm thinking, farms didn't go as well as me as I hoped. Maybe it gave me some good self luck money, but I just wasn't able to do much with it. Now that... I hope, I think I have the mouse at this point. I don't think I'll need farms. Because trackpad, yeah, it's pretty annoying fun with it. Oh yeah, I decided to be a total douche here and get a fifth tower. whoop de doo I don't even use this fifth tower though. Stupid boomerang. <laughs> but yeah, spying and fifth tower. I'm the major douche. Because that is, that is me. So let's get going in this. Um, I honestly do hope Ninja Kiwi obviously fixes my game so I can play battles normally. But I hope they keep that whole Easter egg thing in with the, you know, with the, with the, the sandbox. Or I'm just going to call it sandbox because there's no official name to it. I, I don't even know what to call it. But yeah, it's pretty much a sandbox. So I hope Ninja Kiwi keeps that in so I can at least tell you guys how to do it and it won't harm anyone. Because that's really all I care about, not harming anyone. So now I talk about Alice sitting over there, he's like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, crap, crap. I have ice towers, so I can ice shred for a really cheap price, but I don't think it's even that effective of an ice shred. At the time, my ice tower's just right, and I'm even still leaking some pinks. Yep, as you can tell. Come on, ice towers, or no, all three of my ice towers in the bomber are shooting at the exact same time, so that's screwing me over. These pinks are sucking, or rocking so much, so I suck at Alice. He's trying to sell his farm and get some stuff, and he's out of lives. Way to go, big boy. Way to go. So I won that tiebreaker right there. And that's about it for his glitch. I don't know if it's still patched yet. I recorded this yesterday. Don't know if it's patched yet. I might try to do some more cool things with it. And it'd be really cool if Ninja Kiwi fixes it so it doesn't hurt anyone. If it doesn't, that would be absolutely amazing. I would freaking love that. Then I could tell you guys, oh yeah, here's where you can test out a bunch of things. I have all 16 towers and such. Um, let me know if you want to see any more of this. Otherwise... I'll just get back to normal videos, as usual. Regardless, this is still pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> I was thinking about just there with his dark monkeys. He's invulnerable. He cannot die no matter how hard he tries. It's pretty upsetting, actually, and I'm set to lose really soon. Here, you can see all these balloons just getting through. My ice shredding just is not good at all. I'm out of lives. I don't exactly know when we're going to end this, but thanks all you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this random glitch video. This is only the second glitch video I did. The first one really blew up. It was on Blue Steve 5. That one got like 200,000 views to this day. So anyways, thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you all the next video.